Right, okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer out here on the course and at Conway Golf Club. So thank you to them, first of all, for letting me do this test out here on their golf course. It's in superb condition, very dry, a little bit windy, but as you'd expect from out here on the link. So what am I doing out here? I want to do this head to head because a lot of you will know that a year ago, 18 months ago, maybe a bit more than that, I purchased this golf club, which is the Big Bertha Epic Driver. First driver that came along launched by Callaway with jailbreak technology. And it was still to this day, for me, probably the longest driver that I hit in the last few years. So shaft head combination, definitely the longest. What I found out on the course was I struggled in terms of dispersion left and right. So I was a bit wayward with it, which meant that I ended up changing driver some course of uh, last year. But the new Epic flash driver is what's in my right hand. That produced some good numbers. I think it goes in terms of distance, very similar, I think at least anyway, to what the Epic did in terms of distance, but I think it's better in terms of dispersion. It was a lower spinning model as well, so I'm interested to see what happens out there on the course. Forget the numbers in terms of dry ball data. What happens in reality out here on the course? We're gonna start off, it's gonna be a three hole challenge. I've got two tailor-made golf balls, TP5s. One is number one, that'll be the ball of the uh, standard, the original, epic driver and golf ball number three same golf ball is going to be the new epic flash we're going to hit some balls this is non-scientific we're going to give them a whack we're going to get down the fairway hopefully the fairway anyway and see where they've both ended up and at the end i'll give you a summary of what i felt not only in terms of performance where they went but how i think they did what they perhaps how they differ so just to confirm that's ball number three will be with a flash ball number one and that's what i'll hit first is with the original epic they're both set up, this is 10.5 degrees with one taken off, so that's 9.5 and that's a standard 9 degrees, so there's half a degree difference in terms of the setup. Not an easy tee shot at Conway on 14, plenty of room down the left, you don't want to go right. Well, that's a, a decent start. It's gone right down the middle, bounced slightly off to the right-hand side, but that's a, uh, a good start for the Epic. Well, two solid balls. I couldn't have hit any better. That is right down the middle. So, totally different sound. I don't know that you can even pick that up on camera. It's a lot louder sound from the new Epic Flash. Getting a nod from behind the camera, even you could tell that, couldn't you? Uh, but, let's go and see where they've ended up. Both really decent strikes. I think that's how you need to measure it, really. I need two strikes that are very, very similar. And to be fair, I don't think there was a lot splitting those two. Pretty much as good as I can hit. So let's go and see where they ended up interesting first two drives i can see one and it's the flash which is bang in the middle of the fairway the epic just got a little bit of a bounce off to the right and i hope it's just stayed in play but we'll soon find out we're testing first two drives in reality out here on the course which is where as we know is all it matters right so here we are epic flash bang in the middle of the fairway and it really is because this is where it all tightens up on this golf ball epic driver we've got that in shot now is probably another 15 20 yards longer but it's in the rough now what's going to be interesting to see is in the summer months what would that have done because uh, it's obviously a bit softer than normal it's winter conditions on the fairway in the rough i know which one i'd have talked but i'm surprised at the distance it got out the um, standard epic next part of this test is a whole lot tougher we're right into the wind same again we're going to go with the epic standard first ball number one from uh, the tp5s you certainly don't want to get this ball up in the air otherwise it's going to come straight back at you a 
the solid strike again just leaked out just down that right hand side slightly again now again down the centre a little bit of cut on it it's on the fairway so we get to the fairway and we find the flash ball just about held on there and then we've got the epic ball which yet again not as longer this time probably maybe five yards ten yards longer but it's over in the rough i don't think we need to go and point it out well that's the ball off the epic so at the moment we've got a clear thing that's happened the flash has found the fairway twice the epic has found the rough twice but on both occasions the epic has been the longer of the two drivers Right, so a bit windy out there as you can see uh, but that's reality that's where I would play my golf and certainly in the UK that's winter golf for you and that's where these drivers come out to play so it was a case of uh, for me you I, I've got to apologize the clock we knocked um, in, in the conditions it was a bit of a struggle and we knocked it off autofocus at uh, some point prior in that round and like I said the picture quality wasn't fantastic so apologies for that but I had the, I had the shots, I'd, I'd done the filming, and I didn't want to start it all again because, like I said, I wanted the, the sort of real results, exactly what happened when I did this test um, last week at Conway Golf Club. But in terms of evaluating the two clubs, uh, I think that we've now got a test out on the course. I think to mention, first of all, this was limited amount of shots on the course, and it's limited um, golf shots hit in terms of dry ball data. And I think that's important to remember because this unless this went on for literally weeks and weeks and weeks in terms of testing on dry ball data in terms of testing out on the course then the average number of shots is always going to be low and i think you've got to consider that how many variables would there be how many if i did this again next week would it be a different result who knows and i think that's what you've got to bear in mind when you're watching these reviews i think the only thing i will say is that the data that was collected in four golf pretty much resembled what happened out there on the course so that for me is a sort of pleasing backup but like i said this is a very small sample shot of data but we'll start there let's get into the data and we'll start off as we did out there on the testing with the original epic driver and here's the numbers up in front of you now now then uh, in fact before we get to the numbers let me say this when i collected the dry ball data which was um sometime last week i was hitting driver as good as i possibly can so this is very much a head-to-head -head where I was really happy with the strikes. I put them all, there's some variables, there's some waywardness, as you'd expect. But for me, I was really um, putting club on ball very, very well. I tested another driver as well, and again, uh, that's another head-to-head -to, -head to come. So I'm happy with this sample data. Um, first thing to note, 145 ball speed on the original Epic. Right up there, which matched up to my original testing of this 18 months ago. 13.9 launch. Uh, 1844 spin on average, 29 peak height, 249 overall carry distance uh, with a 255 carry in there and a 257. So interesting numbers there. I'm going to go straight in now and throw you the numbers for the uh, Epic Flash. 145 ball speed, both thumb top down. So I hit two shots on each of these tests at 149 ball speed which was a really high number for me. Uh, 15 degree launch, so higher launch angle, and a couple there uh, peaking out at 18 degrees in terms of launch. 1818 spin, uh, similar spin number again, 31 peak height, 252 carry with a 258, 259, and 260. That was a nice run of three shots, which I wish I could repeat uh, three drives on the driver end, if they went straight, that is. Um, 
So before we analyze the two sets of numbers, let's talk about straightness and dispersion. And if you have a look at both sets of numbers, I'm gonna throw up first of all is the Epic uh, original. Once again, as I would expect, one down the middle, few to the left, few to the right. And then again, epic flash numbers. We've actually got a couple down the middle, few to the left, few to the right. Pretty standard for the average golfer. And as we've already said on many times on this channel, there are no magic wands. It very much depends on you putting the swing, you putting the strike onto whatever club you've got in your hands. But anyway, fair test in terms of sample data, more than happy. The big thing for me, um, just going back to the looking for differences between the two and it's hard to find as you can see spin number low carry distance very very similar launch angle is different and this is the bit that um, maybe is the advantage and I say maybe is the advantage that the epic flash has half a degree's worth of difference in terms of um, remember in terms of loft on these clubs but what a difference in terms of launch and the interesting thing for me is it achieved those carry distance, the Epic Flash now, launching the ball considerably higher in the driving range, but also out there on the course. There was a noticeable difference. Um, arguably, that could be a negative into the wind, but you've seen the shots, second uh, set of sample shots we hit out there on the course. Both of those were played into the wind. Not a great deal of difference in terms of um, where they finished. And the one thing to remember out there on the golf course is that right now we're getting no roll. So we're not seeing the impact of, of the low spin because it's still soft conditions. But I do think that maybe if we're looking for differences, the Epic Flash launches the ball and has huge carry distance uh, in terms of what uh, it achieved. And with that low spin number, I just wonder how much difference that would make in summer conditions on firm fairways. That and the fact that, and we're looking at, don't forget, we're looking at very small differences here in between the two. So I'm not suggesting there's a big difference, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight what I think they are. And again, there was a very dull sound out of the Epic Driver. Uh, it's a very different sound and feel out of the Epic Flash. It's a lot louder, but I do prefer it. It's a much more responsive driver in terms of feel. Apart from that, the differences are very, very minimal indeed. Would I go out there and buy the Epic Flash if I had the Epic? The answer would probably be no. If I had an older driver, three or four years old, and I was looking for a new driver and I was considering the Epic or Epic Flash, I'd probably say the Epic Flash is a better driver. But again, that would all be dependent on your budget and what you want to do in terms of how much you're prepared to spend, whether you want that brand new club or could you pick up a deal right now, a bargain on the standard Epic. So they're the things to consider. The difference is minimal, it really is. Um, and like I said, arguably on a different day, those results might be a whole lot different. But there was some consistency in the numbers uh, that I'm pleased about. I think it was a fair test. I think we got there in the end. It was a bit windy out there at Conway, but like I said, it was a real conditions. It's what I wanted to put forward. I hope it worked as a test for you to see, like I said, forget numbers. We've got some numbers that we can go through, but it's getting there, out there on the course and what really happened. And what really happened was, the differences was minimal. And it was again, largely down to the swing and the strike that I put on that golf club. And that will always have a variable in it, I can tell you that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Comments down below. Um, I've got some more of these head to heads to come because they're really interesting because you know what I've got to do next. It's my own driver, the G400 Max is going up against the Epic Flash and that'll be with you very, very shortly. Anyway, thank you for watching.